Volcano Watch. Recent lava fountains highlight dangers of Pele's hair. Locals and visitors alike have been witnessing episodic lava fountains at Halamaumau on Kilauea's summit since late December 2024. While beautiful and safe to watch, the activity has left residents of nearby communities wondering about the glittering stringy dust on their property. Pele's hair is the name for strands of volcanic glass that form when a plume of molten lava stretches out during an eruption. These golden strands can be more than a meter, three feet, long and less than one millimeter, 0.04 inches, thick. The strands are extremely light and can be blown away by the hot or warm eruption plume, so they can be carried by the wind and fall far from the eruption site. Trade wind conditions typically carry these particles southwest from Kilauea's summit into the Kau Desert area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. However, during episode 4, from January 15 to 18, there were no trade winds. The lack of wind allowed the eruption plume, and all the particles in it, to spread northward, causing Pele's hair to fall on Hawaii Volcanoes National, Volcano Golf Course, Volcano Village, Mauna Loa Estates, and Ohio Estates. In some areas, the hair was tangled into a weed-like structure that was up to 60 centimeters, about 2 feet, long. You may be wondering if there are any steps you need to take regarding vehicles, pets and children outside, grazing livestock, or water systems if you live in an area that has been affected by Pele's hair. Most of the general guidelines for exposure to and cleanup of volcanic ash apply to Pele's hair, although the two are not completely the same. Ash is defined as particles smaller than 2 mm in diameter. While Pele's hair is typically thicker and longer, it is possible for ash-sized particles to fall with Pele's hair. And Pele's hair is fragile and can easily break into ash-sized pieces. Pele's hair does not wash out of grassy areas as easily as ash and may affect grazing animals, but there has been no research on this effect. If you're concerned, consider increasing your animal's feed or moving them to an area where Pele's hair isn't falling. Pele's hair can be beneficial to pasture growth in the long term. Recent eruptions have shed less than one millimeter, a fraction of an inch, of Pele's hair in communities around Kilauea's summit. This amount usually doesn't require any action, but it's a good idea to be aware and prepared in case more Pele's hair falls in the future or accumulates over time. Look at flat surfaces outside your home to assess the amount of Pele's hair that's accumulated. For example, the hood of a car parked outside. If you notice any material on your car, it's a good idea to rinse the particles off with water, especially from windows and door handles, as they can scratch paint and metal surfaces. Both Pele's hair and volcanic ash are abrasive and can irritate the eyes, skin, and respiratory system.